welcome to the lecture number 2 of uh, fuzzy sets logic and systems and applications so today we will be discussing the real life uh, applications of uh, fuzzy systems so first and foremost application that i would like to discuss here is the uh, uh, the itachi uh, subway which is in uh, sendai japan and in 1988 uh, this turned uh, into uh, the uh, fuzzy system so this means that the controller that was already there was converted into a fuzzy controller and this was perhaps the most visible application of fuzzy logic uh, that time and uh, this was in sendai japan and the second application that i would like to mention here is the washing machines very popularly we see even nowadays also uh, the our fuzzy logic based washing machines so uh, in these machines we see lots of linguistic uh, terms like uh, if we have to select the water supply we see cold hot uh, for water levels we select high medium low extra low and then similarly for the functions like uh, soak wash rinse spin and then for course we see digital blanket speedy wool so like that we see lots of linguistic terms here so uh, here in this washing machine the fuzzy logic controller is sitting and this controller is taking inputs from the the users in terms of a linguistic uh, variable so linguistic variable here as i mentioned here are like cold hot then high medium low extra low and like that for function soak wash rinse spin so instead of the you know the crisp input like uh, the numbers here the inputs that consumer or the user feeds here are these values and these control the controller which is sitting in this machine takes these as the input and accordingly produces the control output and which in turn you know helps in managing the performance of the machine then comes the uh, fuzzy auto controller in cars like uh, very recently nissan patented a fuzzy automatic uh, transmission that saves fuel by 12 to 17 percent so here also the controller in this car is a fuzzy controller then coming to the next controller which is uh, the fuzzy control of a cement kiln so here also the controller which is sitting is fuzzy control and takes the inputs in terms of the linguistic variables like if the uh, oxygen percentage is high and the uh, temperature is low then increase air flow so what does it mean it means that the inputs that are coming in the fuzzy controller is in terms of the linguistic values like uh, high the oxygen percentage is high and then the temperature is low so if these two are existing then the output should be in the reason uh, the uh, the air flow uh, has to be increased so like that and similarly we can have multiple uh, rule bases fuzzy rule bases uh, and based on that this fuzzy controller works so what i am trying to say here is also we have the fuzzy controller which is acting based on the input inputs that are fuzzy inputs fuzzy inputs means the linguistic variables or values and then the output is also output out of this fuzzy controller is uh, fuzzy and this is again used for further 
decision making. Another application which you see here is the elevator monitoring and control. So, here also the controller that is sitting here uh, for this uh, elevator monitoring is fuzzy controller which takes inputs as the waiting time short, priority is high. So, like that we have so many inputs, linguistic inputs coming in and then they based on the inputs, the decisions the controller give, uh, uh, controller uh, produces the output in terms of again either the linguistic uh, output or uh, the uh, you know the crisp output. So, based on that further decision is made. So, then another application which is uh, which we see here is uh, uh, the fuzzy controller based copying machine. So, uh, we see here the copying machine uh, and uh, here also the fuzzy controller in many of the machines fuzzy controllers are being used and uh, uh, here the, uh, uh, the drum voltage is adjusted based on the picture density, humidity and temperature and these uh, the variation of these uh, parameters. Uh, are basically uh, course parameters, uh, I mean uh, the linguistic terms like humidity, it, it can be either low, medium, high and so on and based on uh, that uh, the controller makes the decision. Here we see another application uh, which is fuzzy based uh, palm top computer. So, here uh, uh, this palm top computer recognizes the handwritten kanji characters. Then uh, uh, we come to another uh, application of fuzzy uh, logic here uh, is used in golf diagnostic system. So, what is done here is that this uh, fuzzy uh, logic helps uh, in selecting the golf uh, club based on golfer swing. So, uh, the golfer swing and physique, so based on these two factors the golf club is selected and then uh, another uh, point here, uh, a very important point here to, is to be noted here is that, that uh, it also determines the uh, uh, shaft flex profile for a golfer based on these parameters. So, uh, 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 here also we see that uh, based on the linguistic terms the fuzzy controller decides uh, the uh, uh, what uh, uh, I mean a particular golf club based on the parameters which are uh, fed which are in the linguistic terms. Uh, then uh, we see a fuzzy logic uh, application here in celerity in uh, the courts. So, what uh, we mean by uh, uh, celerity in the code is like uh, fuzzy logic is helping various codes in managing the decision uh, very quickly in or in accelerating the decision making process. So, uh, um, a model case complexity of, uh, of criminal justice systems. So, uh, basically uh, if we use fuzzy logic the complexity is very well dealt by the fuzzy logic and uh, uh, you know uh, with linguistic terms which otherwise is very difficult to be understood. So, fuzzy logic is helping this system the code system to manage the complexity which is present in the uh, you know uh, this justice system. And then uh, in the decision making in selection of courthouse building. And similarly, lots of uh, other in decision making this uh, fuzzy logic is helping uh, us very well. Uh, very interesting application we can see here is the uh, fuzzy logic full in image processing. Uh, so, uh, uh, in image processing uh, fuzzy logic helps in uh, contrast uh, enhancement, the edge detection, classification. Uh, segmentation, filtering. 
So, uh, here we see uh, uh, you know some of the applications uh, some of the applications that is done by the fuzzy uh, uh, by the use of fuzzy logic or fuzzy logic based system. So, uh, the fuzzy logic is very very helpful in image processing and uh, if we are uh, further interested in a uh, few more application related application we should uh, uh, try uh, going to or uh, referring to the uh, IEEE transactions and fuzzy systems and we may see uh, so many other uh, similar applications. So, here also we see one application which is fuzzy logic based application and this is uh, uh, condition based monitoring of machine. So, what do we do here is that uh, various parameters for example, the vibration, temperature, voltages and uh, few other parameters are uh, uh, you know picked up from the machine and uh, these parameters uh, are used for uh, diagnosing the condition of the machine. So, uh, uh, the fuzzy based fault classifications are very helpful in recognizing the, uh, the, is, uh, the status of the machine whether the machine is healthy or faulty and if the machine is healthy uh, is fine, but if the machine is uh, faulty then what kind of fault in the machine is present. So, like that uh, fuzzy uh, system or fuzzy logic based system uh, especially the classifiers, the feature selectors, feature extract extractors all these are helping us in man managing the fault recognition uh, process very well. And another thing here is that uh, fuzzy uh, based uh, uh, algorithms are uh, very very helpful for uh, uh, estimating the remaining life uh, prediction means remaining useful life of a particular machine. Uh, another application that we hear uh, we see here is uh, the uh, fuzzy logic uh, in aerospace. So, we see here that the altitude uh, control of a spacecraft is uh, managed by the fuzzy based uh, uh, controllers and then fuzzy based controllers are also helpful in managing the satellite altitude control uh, uh, flow and uh, mixture regulation and like that uh, we uh, use uh, fuzzy logic based uh, controllers in similar aerospace uh, applications. So, these are very helpful. Uh, in aerospace and next uh, application here is the fuzzy logic uh, uh, in psychology. So, in psychology also the fuzzy logic based uh, 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 techniques fuzzy logic based algorithm approaches are very very useful in analyzing the human behavior and uh, criminal investigation and uh, with this through uh, you know the uh, 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 prevention uh, is also uh, uh, prevention of the criminal uh, uh, attitudes are, uh, uh, are also uh, done. So, next application is the fuzzy logic uh, based uh, air conditioning system. So, here also in air conditioning many of the air conditioners nowadays coming with uh, fuzzy logic based. Uh, fuzzy logic controller uh, 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 and uh, these controllers are taking inputs in linguistic terms again uh, and these input uh, inputs are uh, in terms of like uh, 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 linguistic values like uh, uh, room temperature control and uh, this room temperature inputs will be like uh, temperature low temperature, high temperature, medium temperature and like that. And then uh, humidity control uh, can, uh, if, if this has the fuzzy controller based humidity control then we have uh, the low humidity, high humidity, medium uh, humidity or like that. So, all these linguistic values are selected and based on 
uh, this the controller takes the appropriate uh, decision and uh, this decision uh, values are fed to the respective uh, uh, systems to manage the uh, to give the appropriate uh, performance and uh, another application here is the uh, uh, the fuzzy logic based recipes recommendation so uh, here also we see that uh, the uh, uh, we have uh, certain linguistic values that is uh, given as the input for uh, decision making and this uh, this uh, 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 linguistic values could be based on the person mood person's mood healthy eating uh, balanced meal appetite spare time and all and the, all these will be affecting the decision and here the decision maker the decision uh, you know the system is fuzzy and this decision system is taking the inputs in terms of the linguistic values. So, fuzzy logic can also be very very helpful in uh, automatic gear selection for example, based on the road conditions and driving st style and so many other features uh, uh, could also be added uh, in order to make the decision. Uh, 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 in terms of the gear selection and other things. So, uh, this can also be uh, uh, this are these are also possible and being uh, used in some of the cars. So, road conditions here would mean like uh, if the road condition is very good or bad very bad or like that the linguistic values if we select and based on that the driving style also if this is also uh, uh, you know. Uh, and this is also given as the input like uh, uh, good style, bad style or whatever. Uh, so, based on these inputs the gear selector prompts or uh, it helps in selecting the gear appropriately to uh, give the better performance of the uh, 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 car. And fuzzy logic uh, in another application here is uh, uh, is very helpful for diagnosis of coronary artery disease. So, if we look at the uh, features here uh, and based on these features this uh, diagnosis uh, uh, this diagnostic system which is based on fuzzy logic takes the decision and uh, based on the age like age could be young. Uh, old, very old or similar values, linguistic values and then the gender and this gender uh, could be male value uh, or the female value and uh, then the cholesterol, obesity, uh, smoking and all these uh, are normally used as input of the fuzzy logic based diagnostic system and based on these inputs the fuzzy logic based diagnostic system gives us the appropriate output and this output helps us in the diagnosing the condition of the health of the heart. Similarly, we have another application which is uh, in uh, agriculture. So, uh, fuzzy logic is being utilized fuzzy logic based systems are utilized in agriculture, uh, in soil, moisture, water, uh, weather and other environmental conditions based uh, uh, you know uh, decisions are made. And as I already mentioned that uh, based on these the linguistic values appropriately you know like soil moisture is low, high uh, like that very high or like that. We can have uh, the inputs similarly for water, for weather, for uh, you know the uh, environmental conditions. So, all these uh, are fed as the inputs and based on these inputs the appropriately decisions are taken uh, by the fuzzy uh, based decision system and uh, this enhances the overall performance of the, uh, the agriculture. So, uh, if we look at real life applications, we see that 
we have uh, nowadays so many areas where fuzzy logic based systems are being used and uh, uh, only a uh, few of these uh, areas I have covered, but uh, there are so many uh, applications existing. So, if you are interested you may go ahead and uh, explore other areas also where the fuzzy logic based systems are being used. Fuzzy system is a universal approximator. So, what does it mean here is that see the fuzzy system can approximate any function. So, when we say any function means if the function is linear we, we uh, do not need fuzzy system, but if the function is uh, the non-linear highly non-linear very complex uh, uh, function, uh, then the fuzzy logic can approximate it means uh, it actually finds the f uh, by using the fuzzy logic. So, let me uh, also discuss here the fuzzy logic versus probability. So, many of us often get confused by the uh, uh, fuzzy logic and uh, uh, probability because both of these operates on uh, the values uh, in between uh, 0 and 1. So, uh, uh, that is the major confusion normally uh, students uh, uh, face. Uh, so, uh, they both operate as I mentioned both operate over the same numeric range, same numeric range and at first instance both have similar values in between 0 and 1. What does it mean here is that the fuzzy logic when we see uh, takes the values in between 0 and 1 for its belongingness. And uh, similarly, the probability values are also in between 0 and 1. So, that is how we often get confused. Uh, however, there is a clear distinction between the two. So, let us understand the distinction between the two. So, the semantic difference here is the significant uh, uh, as uh, the first is based on degree of randomness. So, when we talk of the uh, probability, probability is based on the, the degree of randomness, whereas the fuzzy system, fuzzy logic is based on the degree of belongingness. So, let us now take uh, some of the examples and uh, uh, by these examples we will be able to understand the distinction, clear distinction in between these two. So, fuzzy logic basically has the uh, uh, fuzzy boundaries, fuzzy logic deals with the linguistic values and uh, if we have the uh, you know the groups and these groups they do not have the clear cut boundary the sharp boundary. So, like to, uh, if we see if we if we see here uh, in this picture the height of people. So, uh, if we see that uh, we have three categories here in terms of the height. So, three category categories of pe people are present. So, tall, medium, short. So, it is very difficult to uh, uh, draw a line in between the tall group, medium group, short group. So, uh, if we talk of the tallest, he is the tallest, but uh, since there is this uh, 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 in, in when we talk of tall, so tall is the group of person who has the uh, in terms of height uh, who are tall. So, uh, this person can belong to that group this person and uh, can also belong to that group, this person can also belong to that group. When we talk of medium, so we do not know whether uh, uh, I should uh, uh, put uh, this person, this lady in the medium group or the tall, tall group. 
So, that is why uh, we can always say that this lady can, uh, can be in can be partially present in the tall group and can be present in the medium group. Similarly, for other group also this uh, uh, you know distinction this partial belongingness can be there. If we take another example uh, similarly for weight of the people. So, uh, similar clear uh, boundaries uh, cannot be drawn like heavy weight, middle weight, light weight, fly weight. So, it is very difficult to uh, clearly sharply draw a boundary and uh, based on that we cannot separate these, these people in terms of these uh, groups. And when we talk of probability, so probability you see if we toss a coin let us say uh, 10 number of times, 10 times if we toss a, a coin. So, a few times let us say here as uh, you see the 6 times we uh, uh, get the heads and uh, 4 times we get tails. Right. So, uh, for probability you see the probability is 1 over 6, uh, a probability of getting the head and then probability of uh, 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 getting the tail is 1 by 4 and here the probability is 1 by 6. So, if we see these values which are coming here because of the, the uh, randomness, the va these probability values are coming in between 0 and 1. But if we talk of fuzzy, so there if a person belongs to let us say this person belongs to a particular group completely like a tall group completely, it means this person is, is belonging to that group with 100 percent belongingness. And if this person may belong to that group with uh, less than 100 percent say 95 percent. So, the degree of belongingness here could be 1 and here the degree of belongingness could be 0.95. So, here also the degrees of all the degree of belongingness all the degrees will be coming in between 0 and 1. So, that is why uh, we all we often get confused. Uh, get confused with these values and uh, uh, we confuse with the, uh, the cases whether this is fuzzy logic case, uh, probability case. So, uh, we need to be very, very careful while dealing with uh, uh, some of the problems. So, we look at uh, we, we should first check whether the uh, process is uh, based on the randomness or process is based on the uh, belongingness. So, uh, now then let us come to the, uh, the block diagram of uh, the fuzzy logic in control and decision making. So, we have a fuzzy model here. So, input of this fuzzy model is uh, this fuzzy model is basically from the real world measurements or assessments of system conditions like temperature, market data and all. So, here the input to this model can be either crisp or fuzzy. If this is crisp, we need to fuzzify it in, uh, in order to feed this data into the fuzzy model uh, or if it is already fuzzy, then we can straight away uh, uh, feed this data as input to this fuzzy model. And then the output of this fuzzy model is generated. Uh, this could be uh, fuzzy or this could be the crisp. If this is a uh, uh, fuzzy uh, value as the output of this model, then we defuzzify. Then we defuzzify before we use. If this uh, output is already crisp, then we can straight away use this for further uh, 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 processes as input. So, uh, this way this fuzzy model is uh, uh, or this fuzzy model can be regarded as 
the decision maker. Uh, let me uh, briefly tell you here uh, about a fuzzy system. So, uh, what is a fuzzy system is a system which contains these four blocks. So, first block is the fuzzy fire and then the second block is the fuzzy inference engine third block is fuzzy rule base, fourth block is the fuzzy fire. So, any typical fuzzy system will have these four blocks. So, if we come across any system, any fuzzy system, we must check whether all these four blocks are there or not. If any of these blocks are missing, it means the system which we are dealing is not a fuzzy system. So, fuzzy fire here is uh, fuzzifying the input data which is if which is uh, crisp. If it is crisp fuzzy fire fuzzifies the input data and feeds it to the fuzzy inference engine. And fuzzy inference engine takes the help of fuzzy rule base and uh, based on that the suitable output is generated and if this output here is fuzzy, a D fuzzy fire is used for generating the crisp output. And uh, here this can also be possible that uh, this output is a crisp output, then we do not need a D fuzzy fire. We can straight away use this output as the input to the other system. So, I would stop here for this lecture and in the next lecture, we will discuss fuzzy sets, their representations and fuzzy logic toolbox in MATLAB. Thank you very much.